Hello and welcome to the Ballpoint Review, a new channel where I will review ballpoint pens mainly, perhaps a few fountain pens. And first pen out is actually one of my own first pens. Uh, this Parker Jotter Steel was one uh, mo the model which one of one of the models I bought first when uh, my interest for well nicer pens started. And uh, I'm not sure it's exactly this example, because I think I have uh, two examples, but it looked looked like this. And um, it's maybe also known for some as the Golden Eye Pen. In the movie, uh, James Bond movie, Golden Eye from uh, the 90s, it is also a grenade hidden in it. Um, and um, that's something to... Remember, but I don't think you get any grenades when you buy them. I will start by showing it like this, the, the size of the pen. Maybe it doesn't tell you so much because you don't know the size of my hand, but maybe it does tell you something. So I will show it, show you how it looks in my hand. This is how it looks in my hand when I write. I will now st uh, speak about the pros and the cons, and I will start with the pros. One of the biggest pros, I would say, that it, this pen is long-lasting. Uh, it is made of metal, steel, so it will not get damaged anytime soon. You can throw it around, you can throw it in your bag, you can have it in your pocket. Maybe it will make a hole in your pocket before it, uh, the, the pen get, gets dented. Um, Quality-wise, I think it's good uh, you see here that this section is made of metal that's a good sign i'm not sure about this section inside uh, if you can see it it's slightly darker than um, the silvery steel it's some kind of um, well dark gray section it could be plastic it could also be metal if it's plastic it's probably gonna be the pen's uh, weakest uh, part and uh, which is gonna wear down by time it is another pro is that it is small by small i don't mean that it's not long i mean it's thin it's thin and it's strong it's easy to carry uh, i don't know if it's a pro for you but it could be some kind of aesthetic um, argument for buying it that the click sound is very nice it sounds something like this I should mention that the ink is decent to good. It's not like great, but it's decent to good. Um, it's a standard, inside here is a standard size international cartridge from Parker, the brand Parker. Blue medium is the standard. You can get them in fine also. I think you can get them in black and red too. I'm not like overly overwhelmed by the ink but it does the job. Another pro is the grip initially. I want to put emphasis on initially. The grip is very good when you buy it. I don't think uh, the good grip la lasts that long. I will come back to that soon. But it is a nice grip when, when it's new. And another pro, I would say, another aesthetic pro is this clip. It's sturdy and it's nice. It looks very good. Maybe you see it good here. It's shaped as an arrow and it's very sturdy. It, it's not really easy to bend it too much. And it's, it, it, it gets stuck where you put it. Um, it's quite sharp here, so you might be careful with, with your pockets also. Uh, I will mention a few negative sides with the pen. Uh, I spoke about the grip recently here, and uh, I would say that if you use this pen for a long period period of time, the grip isn't that good anymore. It gets slippery, and especially if you're a person who maybe you're touching your face when you write, you are scratching your head, then fat is gonna end up on your fingers, and it's gonna make this section even more slippery. I think even if you have a little bit of sweat, it gets slippery after a while. And this problem, I think, is even worse with pens that are uh, thin and that has this, like, or if it has a very 
like deep slope here then uh, a good grip is, is essential to a good writing experience and i think that the jotter isn't that good a writing experience um, when you use it for longer periods of time i would also say something more about the grip that the grip since this is a metal pen it's a quite hard grip when you, you have this pressure here your pressure ends up on your middle finger and it can create a little bit of a groove uh, where the pen rests so that's something to bear in mind it's not like it causes pain but i can notice a small uh, groove uh, on my finger i think that is i don't i would i don't know if, if plastic pen causes the same issues but um, metal is quite hard material so for longer periods of use i wouldn't recommend uh, this particular pen uh, it is after all a jotter which means that maybe it's best as uh, best as long as you just jot down a few words now and then and that's what i use my jotters for mostly i write a few lines with them i carry them along i put them in my bags and they are very good for that purpose and well the size i would say is a negative for me uh, it is not it doesn't feel good to write with it longer periods of time so for example if you go to an exam where you need to sit for a few hours to write uh, by hand i wouldn't pick uh, the parker jotter in that situation so then i will move on to my final judgment my conclusion 